Boker Torah. Today's that Yomi is Ksuvos, Kuv Zayin, Ksuvos 107. We're going to start on the bottom of Kuv Vav Omabez, on the bottom of 106b. And the, the, the Mar begins with this statement, if somebody goes overseas, that was what the Mishnah said. So in Mar, Rav Amar, Rav taught, Poskin Mizonos, the Ashes Ish, we're on top of Kuv Zayin and Rav. Rav says we give money, we give support, i.e. we go into the husband's estate and support Ashes Ish. Usually Ashes Ish is an adulterous woman, but here it just means a married woman. So Rav says we go into the husband's estate if he traveled overseas and we support his wife. Whereas Shmuel says, no, we don't. In post in Mizono, says, Shmuel says we don't go into the estate to support his wife. So Amar Shmuel, Modali Abba. Shmuel says, Rav, Shmuel calls Rav Abba sometimes. He says, Rav agrees with me. Rav agrees with me the first three months all things being equal. We're not talking about a situation where they're in a fight. But all things being equal, the first three months the husband goes overseas, we don't go into his finances and start supporting the wife. Because a person does not leave their house empty-handed. We have that chazaka. Meaning to say, if he left, he must have left money with his wife. So if that's the case, and also, says Shmuel, not only does Rav agree with me that, also it says the Gemara, the Gemara says, if we hear, we had, a, we had not exactly evidence, because strong evidence, but we have circumstantial evidence that the husband has died. Also, nobody would argue on the, under those circumstances, even Shmuel would admit that we would give them money. Because what's the reason that we would have to be concerned about Rash, it says? The, there's going to, going to be several theories, and we'll see in a moment, two main theories about why we have to be concerned and Shmuel says not to give her money, but those cases, would, neither would apply in a situation where, he heard that he, where we heard that he was dead, as you'll see in a moment. Keep Ligi, where is it a circumstance, where is it a dispute between Rav and Shmuel, where there's no evidence whatsoever that he did, that he died. Rav says, Poskin, da Mishubaru. Rav says, he has to give her, we have to give her support because he has a promise to support her. And so therefore, we go into his estate. And Shmuel says, Ain Poskin. Shmuel says, we don't give her money. We don't go into his estate to give her money. Why? My time. So two theories. Rav Smith says that Shmuel's reason is, maybe he already gave her the money. Maybe he had a side deal with her, gave her the money. We just don't know about it. And Rav Papa says, no, Hashinan. Sham Amar, we, we not, not, there's not the concern that we gave him money, but maybe they had an agreement that he doesn't have to give him the money. Maybe he said to her, you keep your salary instead of me giving you support, which is a legitimate uh, agreement that they could make. And so this is why he, Rashi tells us earlier why Shmuel had said that, it, why the Gemara had said that if he had died, if he heard he died, he wouldn't have to give her the money because if it was the, the fact that he already gave her the money, well, she's going to take the whole tzuba. She's going to have to take an oath then anyway. And if it, so, therefore, we're not concerned about that. And if it's you, you're making your salary, well, that's a separate agreement. Now that he's dead, that she'd have to make a separate agreement with the heirs. And so, therefore, that also wouldn't apply. So, what's the difference between the two answers of the theories of Shmuel, Rav Zvin, Rav Papa? So, the, the difference is, my my weaker benaya. The difference is gedola v'osif. But let's say she was an adult, so he could have made a side agreement to give her the, that he already gave her the cash on the side, v'osif. But she's not making a large enough salary to cover her to cover her support. So there, under those circumstances, according to Rav Zvid, we would not give her the money. According to Shmuel, according to Rav Papa, we would because she's not making a salary. Or alternatively, Nami Kitana Vasip, or also she's a minor girl, so we wouldn't make a side agree. We wouldn't, he couldn't make a side agreement with her, like Rav Zvid had been concerned about. So therefore, she would get the money, but she's making a lot of money. Sipka, she's making enough money. So according to Rav Papa, who says the concern is, and maybe they said, you keep your salary. Well, in that case, it's still a concern.
Tanan. So let's try and bring a proof against Shmuel from our Mishnah, because what did our Mishnah say? Our Mishnah said, Mishalach. Somebody who goes overseas, and the wife says, I want my support. Hanan says, Tishava Basov, well, Tishava Batfil. Hanan says, better take an oath in the end and not the beginning. Meaning to say, when she comes to collect the folk soup, she has taken oath. Then that she didn't take extra money, and, or she didn't already get the money. Whereas the B'nai Kohanim Gedolim say, B'nai Kohanim Gedolim, I'm the B'nai Kohanim Gedolim, this uh, special group, can you imagine the, the special is supposed to be part of such a group? They said, They said, take an oath at the beginning and at the end. So, even before she gets it the first time. Where is there a dispute only with respect to what to what degree you have to take an oath? According to Nekwa Adam you have to take two oaths, and according to Hanan, only one. But everybody's in the position that when it comes to Mizonos, when it comes to ongoing support, you definitely have to give it to her. So this is a question on Shmuel. So the Gemara says, Tirgim of Shmuel, no, Shmuel would explain that what's our mention talking about for Shashama Bo Shames, where there's where we heard he died. And so therefore, there's no reason, even according to Shmuel, you would give her the money under those circumstances. Tashma, Gemara again raises another question on Shmuel. Mishael Achmadina Sayam, somebody who goes overseas. The Ishto Tobas Mizonos, and the wife wants support. B'nei Kohanam Gedolim Omrim Tishava, Hanan Omer Lo Tishava. B'nei Kohanam Gedolim says she has to swear before she gets the support. Hanan says she doesn't. B'in Bava Amar, so now the Bryce says, but let's see, he comes back and he says, Hasati Lo Mizonos, I already gave her the support. Yeah, mom, we believe him. And he takes an oath and he gets back the money that was given. That's how Rashi explains it. But here we see from the beginning that they gave her the money. So he gives the same answer. No, he heard, we heard that he died and that's what gave him the money. Torah says, it can't be that he died. It says that he came back and said, so he, hey, he's not dead. Mara says, no, we heard he died, but then he shows up after we heard he died. Was a bad report, and so I mean, it was a good report. He's still alive, but the report was not accurate, and so therefore, that's a circumstance. So it's still again predicated on the same idea that Shmuel would say that it was a case where he had died, where we already died, and that's why he gave him the money. Another Bryce attempt against Shmuel, and Shmuel says we don't give her the support under those circumstances. Mishalach, Tashmana Bryce says Mishalach, Medina Sayam. Somebody goes overseas. The Ishto Tovaz Mizonos. The wife says, I want support. Then Baba Amar, let's say he comes home and he says, you take your salary. In exchange, I won't give you my support. Rishai, he's allowed to, he's allowed to make that uh, agreement with her. Karmu Bezdin in Costco, let's say the court had already Let's say the court had already given her the money. Let's say the court had already given her the support before he came back. Then we say, Masha Pascu Pascu, that which they gave, they gave. So we see the court. So, so the court, that we see that he's allowed to do it. By the way, first of all, this phrase in Bawa Martina that he's allowed to say that that was an agreement we had. I had agreement that was her salary, that she was going to get her salary and not support. But then, so the court already gave her the money. So we're saying in those circumstances that they gave it out. Masha Pascu Pascu. So we see from here that the court will give it out. So the Gemara gives the same answer. Here it's the same answer. That we heard he was, that we had heard he was dead, and that's why the court gave it out. Another attempt on Shmuel from a Brisa, the bottom of 107a, Tashma Mishalach Medina Sayam. Somebody goes overseas. The Ishto Tovas Mizonos. And the and the wife says, I need support. So the court goes into his estate and supports his wife. We don't support his children 
and not something else. We'll see what the Dabar Acher is. So here too, it's again, proof against Shmuel. If it says the court supports her. Amar Sheshes, now this is a different scenario. What he's done is he's appointed an apotropos, an executor to support her. And now the apotropos, the executor, is, is, doesn't want to do it anymore. For sure, we say under those circumstances, we have to continue supporting her. Well, if that's the case, if that's what you're talking about, that he had support, appointed an, an executor, well, then why, do, why didn't he appoint an executor for his children also? They should also get support. Morris says, no, no, we're talking about a scenario where he supported one and not the other. He appointed an executor for one and not the other. Well, Morris says, no, we're not willing to accept that that's the ukimta of the Mishnah. My it's, it's, it's too much to assume now we're talking about a case where he decided to appoint an executor for his wife and not for his children. That's not, that's, you'd have to have stronger proof to make that suggestion. El Amarabba, Papa, Papa says, what are we talking about here? Because Shabba Ace made effort. Yeah, we heard he died, but only with one witness. And so therefore, for that reason, she gets support for not the children. He, the he bias in Sube Beid Echad. Since if she wants to, she can remarry on the basis of one witness. Mansi. Therefore, we're going to give her the support since she could have remarried on that basis. So she has a stronger threshold of support, but we would give more credence to the testimony. But the children, the see, the reason why she's allowed to remarry this one witness is because the rabbis were lenient with respect to an aguna. So, because we know she would, and also we know she would, she would check the evidence uh, with greater, with greater attention. So we give her more leeway when it comes to one witness. But her children, but her children, but the children that we're not going to allow them to go into this state on the basis of one witness. We're also not going to give them support. We're not going to give them support. My what does it mean? And so therefore, that's the reason why that's what we're talking about. So it's not a question on Shmuel. So the Gemara says, well, what does it mean when it says that we don't give her Dabarach? We don't give her hygiene products to make her smell better. We also have said, no, we don't give her we also have said, we don't give her uh, like everybody has a responsibility to give Tzedaka from the town, they would make a like a tax on people. We don't give her that money. We don't give her a charitable fund. Banda Murtasha, the one that says we don't give her this the perfume, Kol Shikane Tzedakah. For sure, we're not going to give her the Tzedakah um, because we, we have no right to give charity from his assets. Avaltasha Yavinawa, but they would say we would give her the 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 hygiene products, the only to nibble because he wouldn't have wanted her to look uh, disgusting. So now the Gemara says, okay, we're still trying to disprove Shmuel, Toshma. Toshma, Ayevama, Gimel Chadachim, Arishonim. So the Yavama, the first three months is Nizonas Mishabala. The Yavama, the first three months is going to be supported from her husband. Again, we're now trying to disprove Shmuel. Shmuel says she doesn't, she's not entitled to support. But a woman who's waiting for Yibam, her husband died, the first three months, her husband supports her. From that point onward, after those th- first three months, she's not going to get supported, not from her husband, and not from her yavam. Well, she says the first three months she gets support because she can't get married and she can't do yibum. So therefore, why can't she get do married or yibum? Because we need to do avchana. We need to make a, a, we need to determine who the father is. So we need to make her wait three months. So therefore, for those three first three months, she's supported from her from her husband's estate. From that point on, she's not supported not from her husband and not from her yavam. Her, her husband doesn't support her. Because she's not like all the other widows who are entitled to support from her husband's estate until she gets married, because 
uh, the reason is that generally speaking, a widow supported from her husband's estate out of honor to her deceased husband. But this Yavama, she's connected to the Yavam. And so therefore, she doesn't get uh, supported by the estates of her husband. And also, she's not supported by the Yavam because she didn't marry him yet. But Ahmad Bedin, but let's say she, she went with the Yavam to court. And, and then Barak, he, he left town suddenly. Then she is supported by the Yavam. So we see from here. So we see from here that we give we give support to the Yavama from the estate of the Yavam who went overseas. So we see from here that also a, a wife whose husband went overseas, we should give support. So it's a question on Shmuel. Shmuel says, no, in that case, why do we give the Yavam? What would we what well, there's no concern? Why would we give the Yavama? Because there's no concern. If we say, well, maybe he already gave her the money on this side. Well, no, he doesn't have that kind of relationship with her where he's giving her money already on this side. If we're concerned about that, maybe he said, you work for yourself and, and I'll keep my support. Well, she doesn't have to give him that yet. She doesn't have to give him the support. Because even though the sage has said that the Yavam has to support her, nevertheless, he doesn't get her salary until he fully marries her. Tashma, so again, we're trying to disprove Shmuel says, Shmuel says, you don't have to give him a zonos. We said, Tashma, I'm a woman who's, she and her husband went overseas. And then she comes back and she says, Mace She says, listen, she says, My husband has died. So Aisha Shalchayu Baalam Dina Sayyam, her boss for Amar Mace Baalam. She comes back and, and she said, My husband has died. What's done is Zonas. If she wants to, she can get support. What's the Gova Ksuvasa? If she wants to, she gets support. If she wants to, she can get her Ksuva. And we'll, we'll look what Raj she says. Raj she says, why could she get support if she wants? Because a woman is believed. So you should have met us. So my mace Bali Vitina say, woman is believed to say, my husband has died and I want to get married. And just like she's believed to get married, so too she's believed to take her ksuva. Like we say in Yavamos, it says, it says in Yavamos, Titali Mashakasa Vuchi. Okay. But so we see from here that if she gets. Divorced, Gershani, if she gets divorced, if she says, My husband divorced me, Gershani Bali, then mit parsenis walachas ksuva. Then she gets support up until the value of the ksuva. Now, here Rashi says, Ksuva will govya. Here she can collect the ksuva. Shema will gersha. Maybe they weren't actually divorced. But by, even though we believe her to say her husband died, we don't necessarily believe her to say that he divorced her. But we give her support. And so we give her up to the we give her support up to the ksuva in Girsha. If she had been divorced, so she would get her full ksuva. And if not, he's anyway he's obligated to her support. So we see the point here is that she's entitled to support Mizona. So it's a question on Shmuel. So the Mar says, Now here also we're talking about a case where we already died. The Mar says, ksuba. So then if we already died, why do we only give her support up until the value of the ksuba? She's entitled to ongoing support. The Mar says, the She cost herself. She undermined her own, our own legal strength by her claiming that he, that he was divorced. And so therefore we say, we're all going to give it to you up until the value of the ksuba. Again, we're still trying to prove that Shmuel is not correct. Tashma Kate said Amru, and Shmuel says she's not entitled to support. So we have this case. So Tashma says the Brisa. Kate said Amru. Under what circumstances did the Mishnah say we learned this on that proof? Under what circumstances does the Mishnah say? Under what circumstances does the Mishnah say? said if a, if a minor girl rejects the marriage, she does not get support. 
that's what we said in the Mishnah, that if a minor girl rejects the marriage, she does not get support. Under what circumstances do we say that? It can't be, it can't be where she's still married. Sherry Bell Chayabim is on us. Her husband obviously would have to give her support if she's still married to her. Now we're talking about a case where the husband goes overseas. Uavta, she borrowed money, and she, she ate the food. Amda, then she stood up, umiana, and she rejected the marriage. And then we say the husband doesn't have to give her money for the, doesn't have to repay her for the money she borrowed to eat because she rejected the marriage, and it's like they were never really married. But we see from here, time of the miana, why did he not have to give her the money? Because she rejected the marriage. Well, miana, but if she had never rejected the marriage, he'd have to give her the money. It's a proof again, Shmuel. Shmuel says, no, the reason why she gets the money here is again, what's the concern? Why would she get the money if she was a minor girl married him? What would be the concern? If you want to say, well, she, that he had already given the money, you're not going to do that with a minor. Then if you want to say, well, okay, well, what about maybe she's working for a salary instead of support? As a general rule, even though we had said on the earlier page that there's a possibility of a minor girl getting a salary instead of support, so here we're going to say that that's unlikely, and so therefore we don't have to be concerned, and so we'll give her the support. So Gemara says, My What's the conclusion of this whole discussion? My What's the conclusion? We said an incident came before Rebbe and Beisha, and we learned earlier this week. That Rebbe lived in Beishar and he went to Tsipori just to have medical treatment, but he lived in Tsipori. So when he was in, he lived in Beishar. So there was this incident that came before Rebbe in Beit Sharim. And this is what Rabbi Dimi brings down from Eretz Shaltabadel. And Rebbe gave her Mizonos when the husband went overseas. Rebbe gave her Mizonos. But an incident came before if Nei Rabbi Yishmael but Tzipori, an incident came before Rabbi Yishmael and Tzipori, who were passed up on this. Rabbi Yishmael said, we're not giving her support. So Tai by Rabbi Yochanan, if you're not Rabbi Yishmael, she'll pass up on this. So Rabbi Yochanan says, I don't understand why Rabbi Yishmael said, we're not giving her support. He brings a case from our Mishnah. When did it's going to be a reprise of the same question we had before against Shmuel. We, when did we learn that B'nai Kohan and Gedom argued with Hanan El Enyin Shmuel? Only with respect to when they make the oath of a Mazoni Avinua, but according to everybody, even according to B'nai Kohan and Gedom, you give her the oath. You, uh, you give her the support. So when Rabbi Yochanan said this, they said, yeah, they already had this discussion about Shmuel, because Shmuel's position is consistent with Rabbi Yishmael's. So they already had this discussion with Shmuel and Babo, and he said, he said, oh, well, no, we're talking about, we, we get, our mission is saying he gave her support in a circumstance where we heard he died. I'm away. So Rabbi Yochanan was not impressed with that answer. He says, but you said, it's a difficult answer. You think you can solve the whole mission by giving that, that answer, that the whole mission is talking about only a circumstance where we heard he died? He didn't buy it. Mara has a different version of this whole discussion where it just switches the uh, who said what, but it's the same concept. Also, Ravin, usually when Rabdimi comes from Eretz Shatabaka, Ravin is tagging along a few a few steps behind. So when Ravin came, he said, Mai Sabah, they Rabbi Beishar, and he said, and Nitzan came to Rabbi and Beishar, the low Pasach He ruled consistent with Shmuel's ruling. That we do not give her support. If they were Mishmol, but Tzipori came to Mishmol and Tzipori, he ruled consistent with, with Rav, we give her support. I'm Rabbi Yochan, Ma'ra Rabbi, so Rabbi Yochan challenges Rabbi, Ma'ra Rabbi, she will pass a car. Why did, why did Rabbi not give her the money? When did the Hanan and Bnei Kwanam Gedom argue only with respect to an oath? That's where they argue. Over Mizono, it's better when it comes to the ongoing support. Yeah, we give her the we give her the money. So I'm going to have Rabba, same answer. Yeah, that what's our mission talking about says says Rav Shambarabo that Shmuel already explained it that our mission is referring to a case where we heard he died. 
So the Gemara says, Amalei Patrisa Bakuyai. So he said, Really? Have you given, uh, you're satisfied completely with that answer? So it was Dochak. So the, the end result says of the Gemara, the Elchosa is, we pass again like Rav, that if the husband goes overseas, she gets support. We give the support to the, to the married woman. This, number two, once we're saying Elchosa, we're saying another Elchosa. The Elchosa is the Rafuna. It was like Rafuna Amarav. The Rafuna Amarav, the whole Isha, the whole Marabawa, any Mizonas, any Osa. Like we already had earlier on Daphne Chas, on the base, a woman is allowed to say to her husband, I don't want your support and I'm not going to give you my salary. She's allowed to say that because the whole concept of support was instituted just to benefit her. So if she says, I don't want your support, she's allowed to. And now, since we're saying Elchasas, we, the Gemara ends in another Elchasas. It's not really connected to the first two. It's not, doesn't that seem to me to be connected? But we do, the connection is, I guess, the connection must be because Rev Zvid gave, an, gave one explanation as to the, the reason for Shmuel back on Ahmed Aleph. And so therefore, that must be the connection. Because this Hilchasa is like Rev Zvid, but Kunya. The law is like Rev Zvid when it comes to a Kunya. A Kunya is a glaze on a pottery vessel. So you, you had a pottery vessel and you cover rushes with like a ferris, chicor and plumbler, like a lead. You covered it with some sort of lead. And so therefore, generally speaking, that pottery utensils, once they absorb something, they can't be koshered. So he says these pottery utensils, show if they're white or they're black, you're allowed to uh, drink them. Rashi says this relates it with respect to two things. There's two nafkamin is what we're going about to talk about. One is with respect to chametz and pesach, and one is with respect to. Well, Rashi says three things. Well, with respect to chametz and pesach, with respect to if they absorb non kosher from idolaters, and with respect to yayin nesach, with respect to wine that the idolaters. Um, um, decontaminated spiritually. So, so we say, so well, Zvid says, I mani de kunya, chivuri ve are shari. The white and the black ones are permitted. Rashi says, why are they permitted? Because the oferis, it, 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 it makes the pottery smooth and does not allow it to absorb. But the green ones, well, Zvid says, yiruki asiri, the green ones are prohibited. The green ones are prohibited, but Rashi says, and the green ones, they add something else that's alum, maybe like aluminum, and they add it into the lead, and it's very strong, and it cracks the pottery, and so therefore, as a result of this, the pottery absorbs, and so therefore, as it relates to the green ones, that's going to be prohibited as it relates to the Yayanesach, for sure. And when do we say that the black and white ones are permitted when there's no cracks in it? But if there are cracks in it, it's prohibited. I'll just say the Tosu here. Tosu says, Yeruke, that is, is prohibited with respect to Chametz and Pesach and Giyoy of the Chametz and Yayin Esach. And, and Tosma says that when he says it's permitted, when Rav says it's permitted, it's only with respect to the Yayinesach, with respect to Chametz and Pesach, then even there, as is going to say, the green ones are, are also prohibited. And even the white ones are prohibited in that case as well. So that's what the point that Tosus makes. All right, we'll stop here. If anyone has any questions, I'm happy to address them.